it's, I should really look into it because I used to run our local education foundation in Ashland and I personally ran seven campaigns to bring technology into our schools and then beyond that I went and worked directly for the schools as our grant coordinator and in that role I got iPads for our teachers and Chromebooks and smart boards and Apple TVs and all this great new Wi-Fi technology. Mm. So when I started learning there could be potential harm, I thought morally I better go take a look at this. And when I started doing the research, I was just um, dumbfounded by how much information's out there that's not getting to the public. So I started the conversation with our schools thinking surely somebody smarter than me already knows about this and could just take it and run with it. But everybody I opened the conversation with, it was news to them. Um, and so our school committee did their due diligence and they looked at the history of this issue, learned that this technology started in the military and now we're deploying it commercially. Um, they went and looked at the top lobbyists in DC and realized a lot of telecom, a lot of energy companies are up there doing heavy lobbying to get their agendas put forth. Um, and then when they read the very fine print that comes with every one of our Wi-Fi devices, it says, do not keep this on your body or you will exceed the FCC standards. Mm -hmm. They recommend some distance. And so our school committee said, well, given that, why wouldn't we do what even the manufacturers are telling us to do? Um, so they came up with what Ashland Public Schools is calling best practices for mobile devices. For yeah. And it's basically to turn off our individual devices when not in use, but also turn off the Wi-Fi when it's not in use because it's biologically active to us. It's basically microwave radiation that's not shielded in any way. It's just airborne, and that's the same issue with the smart meters, the utility meters, is that there's nothing securing those signals. It's just there for our bodies to absorb, and mm -hmm. it's microwave radiation.